So, uh, I guess this is the answer to the newest uh, ContraPoints video about voting. I just watched it and I don't know. Was the ContraPoints video that up until now I had the most issues with, the most disagreements with, but you know. Uh, let, me, let me explain. Let me tell you the truth, brother. So, okay, voting. Uh, what is even voting? You know, it's a political action, of course, that we take, you know? And I want to look at this a little bit more psychologically, because in her nice video, of course, ContraPoints, you know, she basically strawmans the whole video. That's how she comes off as so intelligent, you know? She just already creates wrong uh, arguments she can attribute to her, uh, like to the one, to the people she's addressing, basically, and then easily destroy those arguments. For example, she says that uh, anti-voters claim that if you vote, you know, it's just this action that you take, and then you do nothing for four years. And how would you come to such a conclusion? I mean, you know, people don't just Go to vote and then sleep for four years. That's the example she gives. Okay, so we have to look at, you know, why people take actions and also a little bit more clearly how and why people take political actions and, you know, what really compels them to do that. You know, there was this fucking German uh, anarchist living in the 20s called Erich Mühsam who wrote a little bit about that and who basically said that people who of course live in a society with a political institution uh you know observe their surroundings and if they see a lot of r trouble in their surroundings a lot of negative things for them that creates you know pressure psychological pressure for them to act which you know then articulates itself in a political action but you know obviously the voting is a political action you know so you know, that sounds good, you know, like America has a lot of problems that creates this pressure and makes people decide to vote. So, you know, and if there's a lot of pressure like now, you know, what's the problem? They would do like other thing things like organizing and, and stuff like that also, you know. how Why do anti-voters think that, you know, if people vote, they don't do anything else? Well, because voting has an ideological... Uh, content. You know, it's like Zizek uh, explains with the um, fair trade products, you know, people do maybe realize that uh, people in the third world are exploited and to do something against that, you know, they feel there's uh, something wrong in the world, they get, you know, pressure, making them act in some way, and they decide, I'm going to buy uh, fucking fair trade products. Okay, so now, um, why are there still hungry people in the world? Because uh, buying fair trade products doesn't really change anything systemically. It's just an ideological, you know, action. You feel like you've done something good. You feel like you've uh, helped those people in the third world being exploited. But in the end, you just reproduced the system by putting, spending more money on uh, commodities. And it's similar with voting, you know. People feel that uh, there needs to be something done politically. So they vote. And they get, you know, the ideological, ideological message by, for example, counterpoint videos that voting matters. And that, uh, when, once you voted, you've done something for the betterment of society. Of course, you know, that's bullshit. <laughs> You know, she cites at the beginning of the video a lot of things that are, you know, running bad in the United States that could be affected by voting. For example, she says, like, the police brutality, the racism in the police, the systemic institutional racism in America in general, uh, you know, coronavirus not being uh, adequately addressed. And, you know, the handling of the economic and ecological crisis going on at the moment. So, let's let's see a little bit. Think, think with our thinky heads how much uh, these problems are actually affected by voting. Okay, so, uh, first thing I think was uh, police brutality. 
So is voting by Notaris going to help in that regard? No, it's not. It's probably going to make things worse, uh, knowing Kamala Harris' former positions and her beliefs. It might even be probable that uh, police might get even more, you know, uh, privileges to, you know, just be a <laughs> bastards, basically. Um, so that's not going to address that. Uh, racism against blacks, again, you know, Joe Biden's not going to def defund or, you know, whatever the police. He's not going to do anything against systemic racism. Hell, like a lot of things that are being attributed to Trump, like, for example, these um, immigrant children concentration camps at the border, they were actually started under uh, fucking Obama. <laughs> People just didn't care back then because, you know, for lips like uh, uh, counterpoints that only cares since she, since she can uh, use it against Trump. And, you know, it's like, oh, look at this. This is outrageous. But, you know, if it were going on under a liberal president, nobody would bet an eye. Okay, so that sh should also not going to change. Um... What did we say? Ecological and economic crisis. So can we expect um, Joe Biden to do something about the ecological crisis? Obviously not. You know, Obama didn't do nothing about it. And again, you know, in comparison to Obama, Biden's even less. Uh, it's even more tame. Uh, same is true for the, uh, you know, ecological crisis. Uh, what else did we have? We had the corona crisis. Um, yeah. Uh... No, Biden is probably also just going to support the fucking upper class, you know, not the lower class, middle class. Uh, then she says, yeah, yeah, okay, that's a thing that I grant her, like, Trump did things that hurt the LGBT community that are heinous and despicable, and are a good reason to uh, try to get Trump out of office. But there's more things you have to consider here. You know, uh, at one point she fucking talks about all these things that Trump did that Hillary probably wouldn't have done when she got into power. But she doesn't mention <laughs> things that Hillary would have done that Trump didn't do. For example, starting a war, or starting, already was kind of started, going through with the war against Syria. I'm pretty sure if Hillary Clinton would have won the fucking election in 2016, there would be 4 million more dead Syrians on this world, or rather, you know, four million less Syrians on this world, I guess it's the better way to put it. Because she has been war hawkish against them, especially, you know, because they're protected by Russia, she hates Russia. Uh, actually, that has to do with her personal business ties, just, you uh, know, by the way, not any actual conviction or anything. Um, but yeah, no, that would be pretty fucking sucky. And you know, of course, you know, uh, uh, the LGBT community having less ability, you know, to get uh, treatments they need and s shit like that. Obviously that sucks. But <laughs> war sucks more. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty happy that Hillary Clinton uh, didn't get into office. And I'm, nah. I mean, right now Syria is basically over, you know. I don't really think that uh, the United States can justify against them. But, you know, there are other places in the, in the fucking world that Sleepy Joe could try to invade to get himself a name. And Trump doesn't seem to be into that shit. You know, Trump is a despicable human being, but he doesn't seem to be very interested in, uh, you know, attacking other nations. Which I think, you know, to most uh, non-Americans is much more important than all of this, like, social politics stuff that the United States people care about. And that's another interesting thing, you know, the sort of upswing in leftism that we do have in the United States. You know, more people talking about uh, leftist alternatives, talking about socialism and stuff like that. It's happening, it is happening, I do agree with that. Uh, but it's not happening because <laughs> people in the United States are interested in worker emancipation, or freedom. Uh, it's interesting to them because Bernie Sanders came kind of up with this whole discussion and they want to pay less for medical stuff and for education and don't want to pay as many taxes for the military. So it's egotistical 
things that make the United the people of the United States become more leftist, which is you know valid, obviously. But you know it's interesting then that they call themselves leftists, but they don't really care if the United States uh, goes to war with other countries because that's another thing. Uh, you know where people are always like, oh, we have to vote the fucking Demo Democrats. You know if you look at the imperialist actions. Uh, overtaking the last, uh, like, 30 years, Democrats have always been a lot more ruthless than the fucking Republicans. You know, and just declaring states uh, to be... I mean, Bush, of course, did shit like that, too, but... Fuck, man. How, how didn't fucking... Uh, you know, the thing is, like, yeah, cool, sure, Bush started this war, but the, the war did get a different level under Obama's leadership. It was more of a, you know... Also because people just didn't care, you know. War, war is what the liberals use to mobilize against the Republicans if they're not, uh, if the Republicans are in power. You now, if the Republicans are not in power, then they don't do that as much. You know, but under Obama, you know, Republicans start wars. They start boots on the ground the war. And Democrats create these uh, long, year-long conflicts with like this, these small interactions where they send in like drone strikes and shit, and only ki they don't they don't do like you know we're gonna start this offensive and massacre like thousand civilians one day. They're like no, you know we're going to kill five children this day, five children that day. Then we're going to wait for a few months, and then we're going to kill ten children. But no. It's more, in the end, it's more there people because their conflicts usually do take longer. But I'm rambling again. So it doesn't even have to do anything with voting anymore. So yeah, voting Biden is pretty sucky. Um, you know, if you give, make, voting doesn't matter. You know, don't, you know, if keep it just, if you just keep on believing in this mantra that voting creates political change. People will never try anything else. And because voting does not create political change, you will be in this fucking loop forever. But you know, maybe that's what the fucking leftists, the fucking bread tube leftists uh, do want. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know, know that fucking uh, for voting for Biden is basically giving up. And, you know, think about that. You know, Biden, let's say Biden does get in power. Not only does he fucking start a war in some third, third world country, you know, I know the fucking Americans watching that, watching this, don't care about that anyway. So, <laughs> disregard that if you're from the United States. But, you know, the, the things that I told you before that made uh, leftism more interesting for the United States people. No, uh, Biden is not going to come through with that. And in a result of that, the whole, you know, conversation about leftism and socialism in the United States will be stifled, I think. Because people will make the uh, fucking experience, oh, we voted for this guy because we wanted these leftist changes, and they didn't come. Because, you know, they won't come <laughs> when Biden is voted into office. And people, you know, as long as you uh, keep telling people that voting uh, is a, some form of, you know, a political action that brings anything, less people will do other things, you know, that was my first point in the video, I'm just reiterating that, you know, so that we are clear on this. It, voting has an ideological function, people go to vote and then I think, oh, you know, I voted, I can lean myself back, you know, especially if the candidate they voted for doesn't win. Like, because that's another thing, Trump is going to most likely win. So we'll have fucking, I don't know how many people vote in the United States, like 30 million Democrats go to fucking polls uh, and vote for Joe Biden, who's, who's not going to get elected. And then if then shit hits the fan, they will be like, oh, you know, I voted for Biden. You know, if Trump, people are so stupid if you just did the same thing that I, that I did, you know, then, we're, then we would be better off by now. Which, you know, <laughs> It's just like this thing that I've already taken the appropriate action. No, I didn't, uh, I wasn't successful with it, but it's not my fault, it's the fault of the other people. So I'm justified in, you know, my uh, inactivity. Because I've already, you know, 
if only people acted the same way I did back in the day, then we didn't have to make these organize. Then we didn't have to do this organizing right now. If people didn't, if people had also voted for Joe Biden, and that's what I tried. But now, because he's not voted, you know, I'm not going to do anything anymore. Because fuck it, you know. <laughs> that's that's the kind of mentality and ideology that it creates, you know. Pe if you keep on, you know, um, identifying voting as a valid fucking uh, strategy, you will have less people organizing the workplaces and less people joining the protests. So, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say, you know. Uh, this fucking counterpoint is never going to see this anyway. But maybe, you know, some other people. So, don't, don't, don't go to vote. You know, maybe if the fucking uh, Democrats, they will most likely lose anyway. Because, you know, in the United States, nobody gets one turn unless you're a fucking theft. That fucking fat guy or you uh, sell information to terrorists or something. You know, if that's not the case, you're going to get re-elected in the United States. And yeah, very likely that Trump gets re-elected, you know. Don't vote, don't propagate voting. Uh, propagate actual direct action. Actual direct action, it sounded like shit, whatever. And uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever, I don't know, I don't know how to, to add a YouTube video, I don't know, I've never done one.